Hola, buenos días. Uh, in this video, we will talk about the subjunctivo. So we're going to talk some more about the subjunctive in this video. I do have probably several videos on this topic, uh, just the subjunctive in general, but this one I'm going to be, uh, I'm really tailoring it to my Spanish 3 class and specifically looking at using the subjunctive and having to decide between doubt and certainty. So right now what we're looking at is uh, some different expressions and these uh, expressions, some of them imply doubt and some of them imply certainty. And when you have the doubt uh, as the implication, then you're going to want to have the subjunctive after it. And then when you have uh, phrases that imply certainty, then you're not you're going to have you're going to want the indicative uh, after it. If you're not sure about that word indicative, uh, the indicative is basically everything that's not the subjunctive. So up to this point, you've learned the, the present tense, the preterite, the imperfect, the future tense, the conditional, all of that stuff. Those are all uh, forms of the indicative. And now you've been starting to learn this uh, thing called the subjunctive, which is basically everything that's not indicative. So um, over here, we have on the left some expressions that will likely require the subjunctive. So I'll go through those really quick. Dudar que, no creer que, no es cierto que, no es seguro que, no es verdad que, quizás o quizá. Tal vez. So in order from top to bottom, those are to doubt that, to not believe that, it's not true that, it's not for sure that, it's not true that, uh, perhaps and maybe. Uh, and then to the right, we've got some other expressions that uh, require the indicative. No dudar que, creer que, es cierto que, es verdad que, es seguro que. And in order from uh, top to bottom, those are to not doubt that, to believe that, it's true that, it's true that, and it's for sure that. Now, uh, there are other there are a lot of other expressions that could um, imply doubt or imply certainty that I could add to this list, but for now, these are the ones that we're learning, so we'll just limit it to these. Now, the reason that I said likely with a little asterisk next to it is because the subjunctive does have a gray area, and uh, what I mean by that is let's look at uh, the phrase no es verdad que. So no es verdad que uh, let me give you a couple of sentences with it. So maybe uh, your friend comes up and tells you that uh, John is taking biology, the biology class. And you know John, and you uh, uh, you don't really believe it. You know, you, you don't know for sure, but you don't think it's there's just like, there's no way it could be happening, you know. Uh, you would put that in the subjunctive and say, no es verdad que John tome uh, la biología. Uh, while you don't think it's true, you don't know for sure. So there's some doubt there, so I'll use the subjunctive. But let's say, for example, um, just an hour ago, John showed you his schedule, and you know for a fact that he is not taking biology. I could use that same phrase, no es verdad que, with the indicative after, because I know for sure that it is not true that John is taking biology. It's a fact. So that's what I mean by gray area. For now, um, if I give you one of these phrases on the left, put the subjunctive after it. If I give you one of the ones on the right, put the indicative after it, uh, just for practicing for now. So what I think I'll do is I'll, uh, down here, I'll give you some examples with the above expression. So the answers are already there for you, so you can look them in if you want to, but I'll explain them anyway, okay? So the first one, no es cierto que mi maestra, and then llegar tarde. So no es cierto, okay, is over here on this list of expressions that are likely to require the subjunctive, so I'm going to pick the subjunctive. And then when you're doing the subjunctive, you want to kind of think opposites. So llegar is going to go to llegue. You got to stick that U in there to keep the G sound. The second expression, creo que, so I believe that, implies uh, certainty. So we want the indicative, so which is the regular. So I'm going to say, I, I think that she's, she has $10. TNA. I'm going to three, es cierto que, it's true that, obviously implies certainty. So it's true that we're going shopping. It's the indicative. Ir nosotros would be vamos. And then we have, uh, no es verdad que ellos. It's not true that they play chess, and that's one of the expressions on the left, so I will put that into the subjunctive, and it's going to be Huygen. Now, what I'd like you to do is I have uh, 10 sentences here, kind of like the ones above, and what you need to do is first decide, should this verb be in the subjunctive, or should it be in the indicative? And then once you've made that decision, conjugate the verb into either the subjunctive or the indicative. Uh, and then uh, I will go over the answers with you. They are on the next page, but if you want to practice first, pause the video, maybe jot down your answers, and you can do that. All of this text, by the way, that you're seeing on the screen, this whole document is available to you uh, via the link that's in the description of the video. So if you want to open it up and 
print it off or if you want to hand write in your answers right here you can do that go, so go ahead and do that either way, pause the video I'm gonna start giving the answers in about three seconds okay so what I did is I removed the blank and the verb in parentheses like and then I conjugate it into the appropriate tense I also put to the right of the sentence whether or not that verb was in the subjunctive or indicative so the answers are obvious there uh, I'm just going to read, read them to you. No cree que yo coma insectos. Dos. Es verdad que ellos bucean en Cancún. Tres. Es cierto que tú vas a la escuela. Cuatro. Mi madre no, no duda que yo saco buenas notas. Cinco. No es seguro que ellos acampen en las montañas. Seis. Tal vez nosotros naveguemos por rápidos. Siete. Es seguro que yo uso la computadora en clase. 8. Creo que ella visita la ciudad. 9. Quizás el maestro no nos dé tarea esta noche. Y 10. Mi hermano duda que mis padres... Sarah Allen to the office, please. Sarah Allen to the office. I apologize for that. 10. Uh, mi hermano duda que mis padres se muden a otra ciudad. So, all of the senses, when I use the subjunctive, is because uh, the phrase at the beginning uh, implied doubt. And then the other ones uh, with the indicative implied certainty. So hopefully this makes sense to you. If you have questions about it or if you got a different answer or you want to argue with me, uh, feel free to. I appreciate I would appreciate you leaving a comment there. And uh, subscribe for more videos and leave a like if you liked. Thanks.